<laughs> no, I think you're going to pro the group. It's not hot it, foreign. If one of you guys could send me a wing invite, that'd be much appreciated. Okay, Angry cool. Vegan, okay. if you send, send Commander Edelweiss, EID, space, L-E-W-E-I-S-E, -E, I'll accept your friend request and then I can invite you. Yeah, you're already on my friends list. Uh, I, I'm okay, flying a buggy right now. I was thinking um. of it. <laughs> Edelweiss, I'm 9 kilometers behind you, mate. I flying a buggy. Uh, <laughs> my, I'm just about to hit the upslope, and my hole is at 69%. Come on, up here. Who is at 91? Unsuitable to rain. Already, somehow. No, I'm still at 86%, right, and I'm alive, which is amazing. Yeah, and I am currently, I think I'm at the, 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 the creator. I'm I had to, I'm sure. my the, SRV won't, go, in won't go forward, Spug, just then. My SRV is going every go. <laughs> Okay, it looks like the lead buggy's now stopped. It's being a refreshed don't, by don't, don't a Commander the Alex crater. Rush in a Python and Commander Delton. Delton, you know, is swapping buggies. I'm one point two okay. clicks out for your rear, otherwise. Uh, I'm far enough back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go aerial, provide uh, some information on what's coming up, that sort of thing. Could Got somebody it. move Scooby, Vegan, Kosh and I to yep. our yep. own room, please? Yep. Uh, okay, we've got a ship going to orbit. We have one ship left going no, to no, orbit. No, no, I've landed at the top of the base, Crater. Commander Alex Rush. Rush I've done it right. Okay, it's I can't move left. you, I can move orbit. everyone else. Okay. And he's got a teammate, uh, looks like he's spotting User his location. Part of your channel. Who's got the spare hut and mugs? I had some. Now. Oh fuck! But I'm in a different oh, instance. Out of your Sorry, channel. swearing. Yep. If you need User mugs bringing to you, I can come join you. Uh, send me a friend request, oh. or come up. User was moved. Ben, they're all in the rabbit channel. channel. If you want to go join them. What's your command? The name Splendor. User yeah. Splendor. Excellent. That helps. You might be getting okay. one from uh, a message from. Uh, Harry Potter. You can transfer my, your mug to me. That's easiest. Yeah, make sure make sure you get the special mugs, the ones with the uh, things that go boom inside of them. Oh, what? Deploy with a mug. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I tell you what. Sixty-three kilometers out. They have Ooh, that was a big hit. Safest route. They are doing a cracking okay. job. They've picked a smooth route round the next crater. So these guys, Commander Deftin, who I think is probably Buckyball Racers, is making astonishing progress. He, unfortunately, he's not noticed that up ahead, he's got a crevasse. He is about to drive straight towards a crevasse. Um, Vin, those are the elite racers. That's because <coughs> I... That's According I to the to uh, website. Oh, no, no, he's gone up round the rim of the crater. Okay, he's skirting on his side channel. round the rim of the crater on the smooth ground. He's missed the crevasse. So the elite racers, which I'm following at the moment, are going Aha, round the second guy. enormous crater. Hello, can I get a message? Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, Someone's come along and burst your bubble. Not quite, no, got, but I'm close. Back. Um, I, I had some serious air time uh, there, which was shit. not wanted, into my own uh, nor recommended. Uh, I've got you, you are one I'm still away. holding well at 80% yeah. of hull. Yeah. The air time's not a problem, it's coming back down again. It definitely is that bouncy bit at the, the, the bottom that does the damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, can you guys hear me? Yep, yes, can now, yes. Is it uh, the right level? Yes. Don't forget, four, yes, pips, good, four pips, pips to engines. <laughs> okay, this is brand new PC with crazy, crazy, crazy setup. That's going to work with the Rift, so I'm going to be VRing very soon. Okay, so I'm going to around the lead racer. No, it's still there. Vin, do you want me to stay on the lead racer? You want me to you want me to get rid of it? Yeah. Okay. Poor shit. Off it goes. Right, lead racer is at five five eight. Give his progress. So five hundred and fifty eight oh, kilometers destination we have our lead racer. <laughs> so he has covered Wow, okay, he's already yeah, covered the first twenty kilometers of the race. Yeah. He's 10 kilometers, ahead of kilometers me. behind him. Yeah. He's he is being 
chased down by another oh, SRV there. There's another SRV within 500 meters of the rear of his vessel. I'm trying to see who that one is. What for the changeover? Yeah, I'll get mine. Okay, Hober, the guy by you is in second place currently. If, don't know who, if you know who that is. Is he, is he underneath me? Oh, dude, he's directly below no, you. He's just he's passing me place. now. No idea. Right, I'm staying with the lead here. Try not, try not. Uh, that... uh, that's going to be a fucking... I've got to say, the Elite Racer, like, they're, they're going at a good 30-odd uh, kilometres per hour. Yep. Oh. That wasn't intended. <laughs> Good break. Right, he's heading. Okay, now he's it's heading into some serious ground here, undulating ground. He's not gone round it. He's headed for the low hills. So we've got the lead racer, who we think is from the elite racers, heading into some seriously bumpy ground. Whoever's with Hober Mallow is in second uh, place, and I think we do. they are still on the flat. I think that's also what, another elite racer. Elite racer I see, yeah. Good point. Commander Delton uh, seems to be checking on both of them, so I think it's another elite yeah. racer. I think when they drop down the uh, python, they must have released it's a second SRV. Well, this is astonishing. He's doing most of it I've in the air. He is floating yeah. over these craters. Yeah, I just took one with you in it as well. So, the lead SRV being spotted by Commander okay, Delton is making astonishing what? progress over this. I mean, I, I, it frightens me. This guy obviously has a great big pair of kahunas. Or a girl. Oh, he's come to a stop. Hang on a second. So what sort of The lead racer happening? has come to a stop. Um, he's spun. Sort of he's spinning in circles. Yeah. He's doing donuts. He's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the lead racer has come to a stop, so the second place racer is now rapidly catching up. It's a handover. Sounds like I'm a handover. My... It does sound a bit like early a handover. For that doesn't it? It's a bit early for a handover. A bit early for a first pit stop. No, they've already done one handover. You see them in there. Okay, uh, that's the rules. Katarina had to change his SRV <laughs> on time on because uh, the landing was. Like, doesn't turn in the air. It's really annoying. Okay, oh, who was asking about the rules? So... I can, oh, I well, can, hang on a second. Can, he's now, he's either crashed or he's out of the instance. The lead racer has disappeared from the race completely without just had an SRV a, I having think over. Dave, I think we just had a massive disconnect issue. I can't currently see any headlights. I can still see Commander Deptin who's spotting for him. Oh, he's back on the ground. Here we go. He's reappeared in the instance. Yeah, so I think the go. problem is my G13 config. I can't. Who's in the lead yeah, at the moment? I'm in the air. I can't change my. I think we just had a massive crash desktop. So I, that's why. Okay, in that races, I think must have had a crash. Badly, they disappeared and then reappeared in the same spot. Two or three people. I've just, I'm just disconnected and I've just disconnected kilometers. as well. Someone said their game crashed. Okay, does anybody have eyes on the multi twitch to see how everybody else is doing? Multi twitch. How no. are the frogs doing? So if you twitch it, you can. Uh, can anyone link that multi twitch in the in the chat here? Yeah, I'll, I'll post everything you need, Nick. Thank you. Oh, the elite race has just blown up on the surface. Oh, that's it. He has just detonated on the surface. He has died. That sounds like a crash, buddy. Yeah, no, no, he was he was still driving maneuvering. He was he was going at full speed and blew yeah, up. Yeah, when I when I've had my big SRV crash crashes, it's been just a random explosion for no reason. Yeah, there seemed to be like a random damage coming from like I was uh, driving about uh, 15 kilometers a second, and I, I went from 150 one channel. instance, and there wasn't a big bump in there. Okay, anybody Ew. driving, just so we can tag you, if you recall your um, your ship while you're driving, um, it will come down and land on the planet's surface, and it means we can see you in the... We can actually target you and find out where you are. You don't need to dock with it, but if you call it and keep on driving, it should come down and land near you, and it means we can see where you are. Because we can't pick off names when we're not in SRVs. Oh, because they're, they're in a shared instance. Yeah, it's oh, an awkward one, that, isn't it? Oh. 
was oh, no, no, okay. like halfway to the spotter for the lead racer well, it's is just, it's a great area. He's obviously waiting for him to return Do or I... a teammate to tag. So it looks like they're following the rules down to the left. You reckon? I'm five five six kilometers out now. I'm five sixty. <laughs> Okay, the lead race is only at 5.52 at the moment. Uh, 5.6 to 7. 5.61. At Sorry, some point. Who's asking? Uh, what do you need Nick. to know? Um, yeah. But it would be good to go over, I guess, for anyone listening, right? Okay, anybody listening, the, the rules of the race are we're starting off at Ready's Progress um, with a cargo of mugs on board. You can do it solo, you can do it in teams. Um, the main trick is you've got to do it 100% on your wheels. So if you're doing it in a multiplayer team, you're tagging a teammate. So if you die and there's a teammate tagging your location, which is what looks like these racers are doing, then you can carry on from there or a teammate can carry on from there. If you die on your own in solo in the middle of nowhere, you are going back to yeah, the start. The, uh, SRB, you can bring your ship down, you can bring spare SRVs, you can repair you can do everything you need, but if you need to, you've got to stop and log your odometer reading at every single point. So any incident happens, you're logging your odometer reading, you're putting it in your pilot's log. The pilot's logs for filling in are available on the Facebook page and the official forum thread. The idea is you are doing all 596 kilometers, or more if it takes you further, um, on your wheels. So if there you is need a to tag a teammate, you can so pass the mugs over to them, or they can bring their own mugs. As long as whoever finishes gets those again. mugs to the final destination, that that's good. You may not, if you blow up on, in, on your own, unless you've got any proof of where you were, randomly guess about where you are. So if you're running a Twitch stream, oh, see, it so is okay what, to look guess. at your death point and your coordinates. Yeah, go on, go as ahead. long as you can prove it to the marshals at the end of the race, you're good. I Just about you know the over pretension. Um, starring Angry Vegan, Scooby Lou, and Ed Lewis, how actually in the lead? Ed Lewis. Well, I've got a ship coming up fast. <laughs> uh, an SRV coming up fast. Well, that's, that's surely how you say it, isn't it, Cal? Cal. I, read all the I think it is. Yeah. I can never spell it. So yeah. <laughs> okay. It looks. Yes. It looks like I can't see Deftin anymore. Oh. I think the instance in gods might be working against you. User left your channel. Awesome. Oh yeah, you're right. I've just gone sub eighty percent hull and five five four kilometers out. Um that was tricky. That was a, a nasty bit of ground actually. A fair few bumps and drops. I can see your shadow. Okay, so for the benefit of the listeners though, we've cool now cleared the ship. first just and second large craters. We're into a large really open down. area. Got into small craters heading to the destination now, oh, so yeah. the, the first two major obstacles have been bypassed or channel. driven through or the, crashed into or died in now by the racers. It's easier riding we on the floor are, this by my count, probably about the 30 kilometers into the race, so we're not even at 10% distance. Ooh. We are 30 currently thanks. cameras on the flyby of Commander Hober Mallow, who's Shit. following a Commander Edelweiss. Who appears to be in the lead? With the angry vegan. Don't so, tell guys, me. you are doing a cracking job there. You, you are actually racing against the elite racers at the moment and holding your own. Go um, just yeah. to let you know, I've had a quick chat with the Hot so Rims team. Commander the Flossie has in fact User exploded. This isn't oh. a drill. Way. Commander Flossie has exploded. <laughs> All bets, ladies and gentlemen, are off. Poor <laughs> Flossie. Can we just have a, a moment's silence, please? It's not a. That was uh, it, yeah. <laughs> it's not a hostile event without a hooty explosion. Sorry, a flossy explosion, oh, isn't it? User left your Just lost it. I think Flossy was doing it so well. Good point. User joined your channel. Okay, so while I stay with the lead racers here then, um, has anybody got 
eyes on the um, Discord or the Facebook page. Have you got any screenshots yet from the stuff? Fucking stop it. <laughs> That'll be a no then. Okay, so uh, back yep. to you. Yeah, I think I've managed to find another small crater and my boosters have just carried me across it. Thank goodness for that. 2% hull is the final tally on that jump. Um, but yeah, it was nice. Well, still having difficulties trying to keep us going in a straight line. What kind of okay, speeds are you logging, guys? I'm managing to sort of maintain 27. It's not a velocity problem. It's a what the fuck is wrong with this I'm on rough ground. I'm back 15. Have a what? Complex oh, really? areas going 37. Oh. But usually That's rough fast. terrain, 14. I usually find oh, 20 to be too much. That would be okay, we need an update from <laughs> the INSRV himself. Goose, where are you? Goose, okay. come in. Currently 560 kilometers from Gooch, uh, with all my modules turned off, including my scanner, apart from my life support to maximize my fuel efficiency. Whilst Good also man, drinking okay. piss out of a snake skin. Are you in the um, <laughs> open still, or have you got a PG or solo? I'm open. I had a, I had a, um, a technical disconnect when everyone else had that mass bloody disconnect a moment or two ago. Uh, well, uh, um, there is a, there's a known memory leak <coughs> in the game. Um, yeah. After about four hours, it, it knackers you. So, you know, re-log every now and again. As long as you think you're safe or you're spotted, it'll be good. Feel there we go. Just okay. me. I'm, I'm now solo, so anybody who wants me to come in, try and yeah. join their instance, um, send me a wing request, I will go to Super Cruise, I'll come back in and see if I can spot them. And it's, if you want to, sort of then obviously call the ship so I can see you. Oh, Shit. I'm now 549 <laughs> kilometers out. You're doing pretty well. Tight. It's been so easy. Four, oh, 548 in fact. Odd. Okay, we have a message from Mr. and Mrs. Jax, Mr. and Mrs. Ali Jax, down in, oh, somewhere down under. I think they're New Zealand, actually. Yes, it is. Big shout out from New Zealand, saying, we need more viewer interaction, please, Commander. Psycho Cow does this with ease. Well, I'm not as good as Psycho Cow, but I'm doing the best. Oh, boing! Okay. Yowch, uh, the, the bones there. Well, yeah, I mean, what we could do, actually, this might be a point, because this is sort of like a nervy oh. little point, where we could maybe go for a... A uh, quick letter hey. from um, our dear Cecil. Oh, wait, breaking news. What's that? Yeah, that sounded like a painful bounce. Didn't see that coming. Are you all right, Fazarina? Yeah, I just uh, went full speed over the ledge of the crater that I didn't see, and I was like uh, pummeling around doing somersaults. Uh, but I landed to uh, intact. Um, news well, fresh in the from the Switch, ask, Commander D Show Goodmain is 542 kilometers okay, so out. This, this is open ground, is it? Or is how? this the massive crater you were talking how? about? Definitely how I was just going to find the spinning so I've come out of the crater I was in. Okay. And you reckon to the right of this one, or do you reckon to the right of the next one? I'm 547. 553. Can anybody hear right. my audio, or am I breaking up again? Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, well, okay. we'll go for that quick letter from um, Cecil then. Okay. Here we go. Enjoy. It's very quiet, this Cecil fella. He's passed out from the gin. Ah, okay, cool. I don't want to select you because it'll take my Gucci. Here the news, I'm on uh, beer two. This is going to yeah, be yeah, good yeah. fun. Good work, mate. <laughs> Don't forget to crack open the port. I'm port on port is getting broken one. open at 300 kilometers. Now this Cecil fellow is awfully quiet. Can't hear him. Yeah. Oop. Okay. For the benefit yeah. of the listeners, okay, yeah, good names use his three repair. Um, okay, and he doesn't run full throttle, but he's like doing well on the three of his repair pieces. And we're not related. even at 10% oh, distance. Uh, message from Ali Jax again. Good luck, Commander 0 oh, we We'll still have SRVs left. <laughs> it looks like we have the Angry Vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aid Levice, yep. Hobermallow, yep. 
Still sure. in my instance, and somebody is going absolutely nuts at the front of this race. Uh, I had a message from Deftin. They are currently at 5.51, so looks like I think they're the elite racers or the buckyball guys are only at 5.51 for destination. So, anybody ahead of that, you are we're beating the pros. So, we're only a kilo two <laughs> kilometers behind. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I'm going oh, to down the road because I'm just 560 away. 552. Five, I have no idea who's racing in oh, that, no. that group there, the Angry Vegans group, but whoever it is is going at one so, yeah, heck of a I've pace. just increased power to my. Uh, I've just sacrificed the shield for. 544 for, for me. Because you, you can take damage. Right, through somebody your shield, can take so. over a bit of coverage. Hobra, are you there? Five four five and in the end. You get a lot of okay, boost. Can on somebody this take over a little bit of commentary for me? Just you see the ridge I'm while just I go and uh, <clears throat> do the essential. Oh shit! Right. Upon our arrival, going out live on I was screen, asked so. by a rather helpful customs hey. official whether I had anything to declare. Sorry, I'd forgotten to put it of to you guys. Not wanting any trouble. I informed him about my cargo of mugs, uh, for the mug. Got that in CP. I need to check my settings when I get a chance to stop. Because I get some weird throttle issues sometimes where I just have to go flight assist off and flight assist off. And gin. Quite a lot of gin. As you told me your guests would be very, very, very thirsty indeed. The customs chap, unfortunately, told me that I was only allowed one bottle of gin, which was a bit of a problem, as I had lots of it. I duly offered to dispose of the remaining gin, but asked very nicely if he could retrieve a mug for the mug. from my asp. It's not the same without a mug uh, for the mug. I suspect that after the first or second bottle, this is where things started to go a little bit wrong. There was dancing and singing. I distinctly recall oh, yeah. a rather superb rendition of Dude Looks Like a Lady in honor of his rather fetching national costume. He was not amused. Okay, that was a total bastard. At this point, he told me that I needed a cavity search. Aha! Now, not <laughs> having been to the dentist in quite a long time, I said, capital idea, old boy. But I had no idea that dentistry could be performed via that particular orifice. Anyway, after a small stay in one of their nice rooms at the police station, and what I understand was a frank exchange of views between you and the immigration officials, I was sent on my way um, back to Hutton Orbital with my tail between my legs, as one might say, uh, and a very comfortable cushion. The dentistry left me feeling a little bit uncomfortable and more than a little sore. Upon my return, feeling a little worse for wear, I was delighted to see that a rather splendid commander, uh, Mr. Prime, uh, Star-Lord Prime, no had brought me a selection just... of the galaxy's finest rare items in alphabetical order. Capital chap. Rather confusingly, he had also brought me one of your mugs um, for the mug. Right, I've got a bit of a ridge thing going on. I am presently working my way through the items, trying to see if one of them helps me with this headache. The Lavian brandy made it worse. The Mokujing Beast Feast was rather tasty. Anyway, that's all for now, 
I remain your faithful servant, me. Oh, was that it? B really does get okay, well, alone that man he user makes left. Left. Exceptionally great. User disconnected from your okay. channel. He does, that was him talking all about his uh, enjoyment of Elite Meat this weekend. In case anyone has missed it, okay. it was User's great fun. Um, much, much of Glasgow's beer supplies. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, drunk. I have breaking news. Just a quick update Hot Rims A1, which is Commander Baxter, Old Brett Riverboat, and Twerk Jones. They are currently in the lead by four, well, five kilometres against um, Goodmain. What's their distance? Uh, five to six. Jesus, oh. 20 kilometers ahead. <laughs> That's yeah, the, let's go. Yeah. Could you ask about uh, how fast are they going? Um, I can do, but um, I also know that they've got three people in the air spotting, trying to work out which terrain is best to drive around, and they're actually using degrees to try and tell the driver which way to go. That's I think they're a hardcore rally team. <laughs> Hard left, hard left, hard right. Left a bit. Cow. Cow. Right a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call my ship. Twenty-five percent hull. How are you down yeah. to twenty-five percent hull already? Okay. <laughs> uh, a couple of He's still quite well. awkward yeah, bounces. Like, let's... Yeah, I'm still alive. That's a lot better than the two percent the end of the system with. That's Flossy exactly. blown up, yeah? Flossy. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Commander, yeah. Commander Flossy has already blown up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Flossy. Did she fly into a, drive into a star or something? <laughs> yes, she, she managed to launch herself off the top of a crater and get caught between a binary star. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna pop down and see how the rabbit channel... User left your channel. I told her not to take that extra large McStiffy with her. It wants me to go the other way. Ah, cost me a percent. Damn it. Oh shit! Can't even see the fucking ground. I've lost it. I can't fucking see. Oh. User in your channel. User timed out. Your channel. Fucking hell. I've got that. Streamed for posterity, mate. <laughs> User joined your channel. User entered your channel. Yeah, it's all very quiet. Have we, have we gone off the air? Is everybody concentrating on driving? <laughs> concentrating on driving. Dry, dying. <laughs> oh, I kept it on because. Uh... I suppose we need some more Stop adverts the from Cecil then, don't we? Hey, concentrating on not getting to that crater! Uh, let me just run from the top. Uh, Wildebeest, what's your distance from Gooch's progress? I don't think he started the race. Uh, Michael, what's your distance from Gooch? Oh, about 6,000 light years, probably. I'm not doing the race. <laughs> okay, I don't think you're in for the winning. Uh, you on steel. That's um, a lot of driving. Bit, I'm a little bit closer. I'm about 150 light years. <laughs> okay, you're on your way as well. Uh, Fazarina Van Kastar. Uh, I'm going just a moment. I'm checking. 554 kilometers. Good stuff, oh, uh, Goose, the one-man machine. Five, four, nine. We've been good. Gintosh. And second bottle. I'm at five okay, thirty-eight. Got... Commander Goodman says he is five twenty-six. No, so hot, um, hot, hot, hot rims are five twenty-six. Hot, hot rims one uh, A because they've split themselves up. Um, I, I think that I'd, I don't want to call the other team one B, but um, one A seems to be ahead what, and winning the race. What happened um, to the popular people's front of Hot Rims? <laughs> well, the people's popular Hot Rims front um, overtook them. <sighs> I can imagine Goose taking it a bit, bit easy. Uh, Reichdar, what's your distance? Shit. Five, four, three. 
Good stuff, and I'm, um, Scotty. I'm solo in my own instance, and I'm doing 30 at the moment. Nice flat 30. bit of ground. Good stuff, Sky. What's your distance from uh, Gooch? Okay, Commander Snevis, what's your distance? Okay, elite racers are currently at 528. Five, four, five. Hi. A, a long way to Gooch, I'm just listening in. <laughs> <laughs> my, um, I've lost my bind. Now, I've got to say, Dave, um, the scores oh, on uh, the Twitch are probably about five minutes old by now, so... I, I used the mouse. Which I, think we'll, I think probably every ten minutes we should probably get an update. In the meantime... Well, um, I think we should go for a formal update at two o'clock. So, um, anybody who's in Discord chat on the Twitch chat and everything else, can oh, we get a, a formal update on got. the hour? Yeah, I don't know how far so, away 20 from minutes the from now, the which is uh, two o'clock in the afternoon UK time. In the meantime, I'm still following Commander Edelweiss. Shit. Have the courts not served you the papers yet? Okay, I'm going to go and see if I can join the Hot Rims team for a second down in there. So the Twitch channel is moving down to the Hot Rims. Right, you can all swear. User left your channel. <laughs> Trucking truckers. Dirty I'm not complaining. Truckies. I've got my fuel consumption down to 0.09. <laughs> How, how's your beer consumption going? <laughs> that unfortunately is going up at an exponential rate. <laughs> How'd you manage that? I'm at 0.21. Sorry? How'd you manage that? I'm still at 0.21 an hour. Turned literally everything off apart from life support. Fuck. Uh, that'll do it. So I've turned a few general. things off, but I didn't want to take everything off. Out don't need it. It's all superfluous. Even oh, the shields, the shields don't protect you. Oh, they don't protect nightfall. you though against but smashing into the that's ground. Better than it could really? No. That's why I killed him. User was moved out of your channel. Because think, because think about it, if they protected you for damage, you'd see your shields take a hit when you ploughed into like the crater and stuff, wouldn't you? Oh. You make a good point, sir. Uh, oh, I just went over the edge of something. And, <laughs> and the Bee Gees have just started playing on my uh, 70s playlist. This is awesome. Said nobody ever about the Bee Gees. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, no, they're not that bad. They're good. Back in your hole. Ah, oh, big crater. Big rock. Yeah, well, I was going along at about 30, and oh. I just drove off the edge of something. I can see you. More than just a blue screen. That's how we did. I think I'm going to have to put some ABBA on after this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Basically, yeah. rollers! Uh, yeah. No, no. Sh shocking revelations there. Shocking revelations. User joined your channel. Okay. Yeah, have, have this. Oh, crap. Well, I went down to Hutton. I saw Alvin. Oh. He was like, Orf! And I was like, no, yeah, I don't whatever. Yeah, this pirate comes up to me and he's all like, Give me all your stuff and all that. Yeah, channel. whatever. So, well, later, I'm on the planet, and this skimmer comes up, and it's like, pew pew! And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Because this is my faction state, or whatever. Yeah, and this is your faction state, or whatever. Faction state or whatever. Well then, it was 3 a.m. and I'm in a war zone wearing my python. This fed comes up and he says, "Hey, punk!" I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." Right, yeah. And then I'm smuggling in the Rubigo, and Officer Leroy comes up to me and he's like, "Hey, I thought I told you," and I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah. 
well, then I've come sign move. I'm like, right. yo, sign move, so what's up? I'm He's like, nothing. To aim for I'm like, that's cool. Because this is my <laughs> factual state of whatever. And this is our hub oh, faction of whatever. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> It is a cracking tune, it really is. And of course, we have many, many other tunes coming on uh, Hutton Orbital Radio, but we're going to go for a quick advert break um, right now and back after these uh, messages of whatever. See what I did there? That was, yep. that was like almost clever. That sounds rubbish. Almost, almost clever. Five three nine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, but it was the massive rock that I was heading for that I was worried about making. <laughs> so basically, this ter terrain is rocky as uh, bumpy as fuck. Oh, doesn't know if I've got flight system. I just have to change the private group with my friend because of the 5 frames per second slowdown. Now that it's all started, I'm sort of getting into it. I was a bit panicky. That last that last uh, 40 minutes seemed to go in about four. What User to the left target? Your channel. It's all gone quiet. Yeah, everyone. Definitely has. Yeah. That'll be the big crater the, uh, that I'm playing on. Are you through the crater at about 542 ish? Oops! Uh, uh -oh. Just doing 35 and then hit, uh -oh. <laughs> hit some bumpy ground. Whoops. Weird. I was wondering about where my la uh, ship went oh, landing, but uh, now I noticed that. Okay, I have. My, uh, they, must have, they must have done it with a ship full of SRVs to prove it could be done. So the only problem with not, not having any shields is all of a sudden when you knock out and uh, find some uh, guardians suddenly appear in front of you. Yeah, but having having to stop and refuel is. Where's your sense of adventure? Oh, okay. And the worst case, I can always go back to the station and refuel all my SRVs. Shit. About 527 in front Fuck. of me. True enough. <laughs> Suddenly all these rocks came out. Well, I'm, I'm not going much above 20. <laughs> Unless it's flat. Yeah, true. <laughs> nice choice of music. <laughs> it's oh so still. Shh. Shh. You're in solo. And so peaceful until you, you crash again. Sable. My cobra's blown up. 
You know what they should do? They should, they should do a smiling dog cruise stroke Mobius parody with this song. You wanna cry, you cry. But how old how Mobius was so quiet and then they came in. <laughs> oh we like that. Did you pick a good terrain here, mate? This was a great Sure I'm jumping up and down every now and again and I'm probably losing a little Thick and big creator bastards. Uh, they the by I was thinking, when we do that sideward shot, so I can get you Pretty much, and it's not the, the crisis, it's a that, big rough area. Then it'll match up, probably. And people <laughs> will see the deviation. Ooh, little critter. It's rough oh, and bumpy. Shh. Shh. Don't drive to too fast. To have both just confirmed that you didn't just fly Shh. Shh. Or your car <laughs> will get buggered. <laughs> This is oh, oh, yeah. oh, it! No. Well, that's down to 75%. Would it not mean to the sky? Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Oops. There's a handbrake. Yeah. That's another big fire. You blow a fuse. You just cannot lose. So what's the use? Go! Yes. I've just realised I'm not very much bugger. Cow, 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 Thanks. Let, me, let, let, let me come deliver some for you. And no, it's, okay, it's too late, I'm already in bits. Um, that was a beautiful song there, of course, by the most amazing little troll called <laughs> Don't insult my favourite artist. <laughs> oh, okay, it does sound like blah. It looks like it goes in front of me, though. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I wanted to start the race for you guys to see how um, tricky right. and how difficult it was, and 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 the truth of that is, it is a bugger. Okay. It it truly, truly, truly is a tough, tough, tough start to the race. Oh really? Yes. Worse from here in. Yep. Yeah. Apart from that How is everyone going? Joys of the Gods of Instance yeah, It's just taken me 20 minutes to successfully manage to get in the same instance as uh, <laughs> Harry to <laughs> drop him some more mugs. So and that's your excuse and you're sticking to it. <laughs> it was weird. Well, it's still it's still everything flying along the surface, it's seeing the nav beacon moving across the surface, but there's no Rock lobster declined your vehicle friend. attached to it. <laughs> I mean, it's one of these things where it is definitely a, a race where everything can change at any particular time, as the leaders may well crash out, uh, or, you know, blow up, or get a puncture, or run out of fuel. There's so much opportunity that even if you're starting an hour behind everyone, you could still end up with quite a respectable finish, if not even taking the lead. Entirely possible. If they take a slightly wrong route at some point, you find yourself on the wrong side of a canyon and that will knock a good 20 minutes off of your time trying to get through it in one piece. Or around it. Okay, so I just need to keep to your right. Accidentally Wait, drive down the crater and, well... 
Only 20 kilometers to the other yeah, side. Yeah, I just, I just flew straight over one crater. You don't see it, I'm going too fast, oh, and suddenly you're in the oh, air. If anybody Depends needs any the mugs, then let us know, or if you need to tag out and have somebody else race for a little while, then uh, I'm free if you need me. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. watching me starting in a different instance, and the lead okay. SLV there. Uh, oh, I just lost the 20% of the way. So, uh, I guess it was airborne and just so we're, sailed we're straight over the, the ridge and kept then? going down and down oh, and down. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get into my ship because it doesn't land <laughs> always so like on the spots where the uh, docking area is uh, just... Oh yeah, but it's got a little lump just underneath so you can't get in. Yeah. Really annoying. Like the third attempt this far. It always does land like one kilometer. Shocking, isn't it? Um, let's see if I can find a, a nice song to play to just remind us of what we're doing. You know, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Why? Why are we doing this? Because we're absolutely newbies. Three well, minutes just did a till the next official update, please. please. Three minutes. What did he say? Three okay, minutes till your distance update. Lead camera is currently following Commander Rex Minerva of the Diamond Frogs and her spotter, Commander Crashdown. Uh, she has just spun, taking what looks like damage. There were sparks, there might be some flames. She is currently stuck on a ridge. No, she's got going again. So, um, distance of the Diamond Fox, in case they don't know we're doing an update, is. Hang on, drum roll, please. <gasps> you want a drum roll? Can I give you one? I can't. Okay, 528 kilometers for the Diamond Fox. Holy shit! Not bad. Left. So I mean, they are hot, ahead hot rims, of the one, second Hot Rims team, but behind the lead Hot Rims and Elite Racers team. We're we're the same as the Diamond Frogs. We're in the same place as the Diamond Frogs. <laughs> Diamond Frogs well, who are between the two Elite Racers teams. Coming in for a slide by on them. I can I can give you a drum roll right Maybe. now, but. We're um, still waiting for this. A bit late for that, I'm afraid, but let's, let's just prove it. Crap, good. Aha, yep. uh -huh, a handy snare. Yep, the SDC are currently about 20 kilometers behind the leaders, but uh, now we've got mugs again. Who knows? I'm, I'm shocked they didn't travel all the way to uh, Hutton Orbital just to sit outside it again. I mean, they could have picked up some mugs then. You know, he, I mean, uh, Harry Potter did They're miss the start, for, uh, uh, and uh, in fact, you know, this, the, I want to dedicate this song to everyone who's taking part in today's race. Uh, you I'm are sure all completely off your, your and I don't rockers, really want to spend the time but, on it. you know, okay. this, this song's for you. Yeah. And hopefully this will lift your spirits and not feel you, make you feel like, okay. you know, you've taken on something massive that you just, you're never going to get to the end of. You should love the spirits, make it a bit, a bit easier. Yep. It's maybe a bit too mellow, actually. Could put you to sleep at the wheels. Not with this crowd, you can't. When I lost you, honey, sometimes I think I lost my guts too. Ew. <laughs> Such a nice necklace. And I wish that God would send me a word. Send me something I'm afraid to do. Lying in the heat of the night. Like prisoners all out. Loser was moved out of your channel. User was moved to your channel. Baby, 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 I swear I'd drive all night again just to buy you some shoes I have to use my mouse and to taste your tender charm, especially about the Sleep tonight again in your arms. Well, because otherwise it will echo when you talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's going to depress us all to yeah. crashing yeah, into the rock. I was just about to run into a canyon or something. Nose dived. Yeah. Oh, I drowned it out with lots of Barry White. <laughs> Not Abba. Oh, this this one might just I've again. Just done this, Abba. this one should. <laughs> I just went into really a private kind of, group again. and I got like 30 FPS more. Oh yeah, we're probably doing better. The instas in kills. And does that help you get there quicker? We don't have. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I can finally like ride and look where I'm riding without like uh, watching a slideshow. Okay, so that song was called Driving All Night and I think, you know, that was the sentiment I wanted to get across. But I don't want people to give up. I don't want people to feel that you know oh, you are in another spin from Rex Minova. Sorry to interrupt you there. Rex Minova's just clipped a wheel and spun again. Come on, Rex Minova. Oh dear, I don't want to depress you all by making you feel that this is, you know, an event that's going to take forever to get to the end. I want uplifting music for you, nothing, no stuff to, to help you get through. So, here's a little ditty for you all. Come on, enjoy this one. Yeah! I hadn't washed for a week. Maybe I should have called you first, but I was dying to get to you. I was dreaming a while I drove the long street road ahead. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The taste of sweet kisses, your arms open wide. The sleeve up for you was just burning me on the inside. All together now. Somebody who's Come in with a, a report straight after this. It's only the eight minute version. Good afternoon and welcome to Hudden Orbital Radio. We are here live yeah. at the inaugural Haw. Oh, I nearly said Hober's Run again. It's not Hober's Run, it's Hogan's Run. Is it Logan's Run? I don't know. It's somebody's Run. Somebody has got the runs and we're going straight over to our co-presenter, Rudolf Hucker, who's going to give us the rundown on the current standings as the race proceeds. Uh, Rudolf, are you there on location? You know, uh, I am on location. I'm currently in a wing with Commander Dude of the Frogs, the Iron Frog and his spotter, Felix Dyson. Do you know, I uh, I'm just doing a flyby of them. I've just swept oh, over Rax Minerva and her spotter, also from the Diamond Frogs, and we've been catching up with one of the Hot Rims teams a few minutes ago. So it's all quite exciting out here still, and the teams aren't spreading out too far at the moment. 
it does seem to be that they're managing to maintain a kind of distance of between sort of 20 kilometers between the leaders and the ones who are currently dusting up the rear and there has been some drama we have seen a race leader uh, just randomly explode uh, we did we saw a race leader explode um, I think whether it was, uh, was instancing, oh, instancing issues or scenery issues, uh, we did see live on the stream uh, one of the elite racers out. detonate right in front of the camera. At the moment, I'm following Commander Dute, who's making some fantastic progress over smooth ground. They've taken a very good route, these guys. Um, they are currently 505 kilometers, so they are right away behind the leaders at the moment. But they are making some good progress. <laughs> They've picked a good route. Fantastic. Now, of course, we do have our uh, mug rats in the area who are willing and happy to come and drop off um, some mugs for those commanders who have either lost them through misadventure away, okay. or just accidentally, while sitting bored, twiddling with a knob, they've accidentally hit the jettison cargo button. So if you need to get in touch with them, you can. You can find Rincewind Kimaru, you can find Commander Splendor and uh, Apush. Hober Mallow is in there. Commander Mallow is happy to come and drop off some mugs. Uh, we're just going to check in with our crazy, crazy, crazy drivers at the back there. Fazorina Van Kastel, I believe you are currently mid-race, is this true? Um, I'm at the moment like uh, 540 kilometers away. Okay. So Fantastic. He's, 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 he's in the second group. He's okay, I'm halfway through my tank. Definitely the following group on that one. So he's in the next group behind. That's fantastic. Uh, no, okay, can uh, I just give you an update? I'm going have... to crash this. As of six minutes ago, I've got some updates from people here. Um, we had, as of six minutes ago, the, the Paladins were at 419, uh, 484. With uh, Commander Bapster was 484. 484 for the Hot Rims. Uh, Hot Rims second team were at 530. Over at Pretension were at 493. Uh, Van Kastar was 504. The elite races, I can't find a message from them at the moment. We're going to try and find out sometime soon. But they were oh. in second place. The elite races were in second He's to our lead team from Hutton Truck and Truckers. Fantastic. And we're not fixing it at all. User now, I, I had the, the, the uh, chance to have a chat with Commander Harry Porter from the SDC, who was at the starting point. Uh, he was missing the mugs, but had been since been filled up by Splendor, I believe. Is is that correct, Splendor? Have you managed to pass a okay, mug I'm on to the Harry Potter? That lip, though, That's correct. Right. So I've successfully managed to deliver mugs to him after some minor issues actually finding him. It's, it seems that uh, the gods okay, of the, so we, we're, we're the universe slow, slow is, is more lucid than normal. <laughs> yeah, normally you don't see Harry Potter until he's got his full load on you. Um, that came out very wrong. Or, or Voldemort. I tell you what, yeah, Commander so Dude is getting some serious air here. He is skipping all of the all the My ground obstacles using his thrusters, and he uh, okay. is. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh no, he spun another one. Every time I talk about I a commander, you said the he's right spin. was a crater as well. Uh, it must be the the Murray Walker oh, okay. curse here. But no, Commander Dude's <laughs> back on track. He is oh, doing donuts in his right. SRV so at the moment. To to the He's just reached the rise of a hill, and the distance is currently oh, 500 okay. kilometers to go oh, see, progress. So I, I'd be... Here with Commander Dude yeah, okay. with the extra O. So um, I'm going to stay live with this one because he is doing it as the Iron Frog in solo, a bit like Commander Goose yep. is, but not Froggy. And me. And you. Right. And Bisho Goodman, whose friends haven't turned up. Yeah, good main Aww. was at 500. So good main's probably about four or five kilometres ahead of the frogs at the moment. Yeah. Okay. And we've had so a you are... commander, Big Papa, Big Papa of the Paladin Consortium, is currently coming online. I think Hazard he's coming isn't. online to take his shift out in the racing. So he may be coming to take over from some of his crew, which I think is Commander Marshall. So we've got the first little pit stops coming up soon, that's that's exciting and uh, no doubt there will be some drama from this as well. If you have not set off yet, there is still time to try and catch up. You are running about, what, two hours behind? No, an hour behind now. 
Um, it's going to be tricky to catch up, but the leaders and as the instancing and the terrain has shown us, there are no guarantees that anybody is going to make it anytime soon. So, by all means, set off. Make sure you have the mugs. If you don't, then please get in touch with one of our mug rats, Rincewin Kimru. You can Halber Mallow and Commander Splendor are happy to supply some mugs if you wish to get involved. Just get your backsides over here and join us as we head from Reddy's Progress all the way out to Gucci's Progress. It's a 670 odd kilometer run and the terrain is choppy. Five nine six. Now, I do understand from some commanders, when they picked up their hut and mugs, they also picked up some Suntari Mega Gin. So, um, it's not just the terrain they'll have to cope with later, it's drunk driving. Well, the commentary team is currently, in this part of it, are currently on their third glass of gin. I'm on beer number three. For the mug. This is we not a good news. We have as well, on the radio station and live on the Twitch stream. So, we've got um, Commander Deathlock, that notorious pilot. Um, is celebrating, <sighs> what is it, his 11th birthday right. time? I thought he was 77. Oh my goodness. Okay. How you can learn to be that a pirate in 11 years, right. I have no idea. Oh, I blame his father. Oh, yeah, so, happy birthday to Deathlock! Happy birthday, Deathlock. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and we will no doubt catch up with... Uh, with you later on. In fact, you know what, Dave, is there anything else you urgently have to bring up, or should we just play something special for Deathlock? Uh, I think we should go straight into the Deathlock special. No worries. Well, we'll catch you guys on the flip side of this. He said, pressing a button, and nothing happened. Here it goes. Good afternoon, truckers. Percy Thrasher here. Now, normally I'd be out farming barnacles. But sometimes the weather's too cold, so I sit down and read letters from our listeners. What's that, sir? Tell you a tale. Buy me a gin. Sit right down there. I'll spin you a yarn about how we all fared that time we went hunting a giant black whale. It was autumn in Eden, more, more that, but you'd not like me tell, apart from some geysers and a rather ripe smell. I was patrolling the system yeah, with wingmen in tow, and hunting for pirates who so liked the soul, descent and destruction in our little faction, and maybe just bored and looking for action. Eight of us there, our team speak was right, talking of sausages and other such tripe. With Skip Rat and Mind Wipe, Mad Monk was there, and a couple of Texans and a dog with bad hair. Ventura was docking, repairing his hull, getting all nice and shiny before that evening's cull. A message on Discord caught Mind Wipe's attention. A trucker whilst docking just happened to mention a blip on his radar. A message inbound. There was an orker just hanging around. It's not too far out, He's not one of ours, the frog bear exclaimed. So we headed for Alvin, the one we renamed. Yeah. Approaching in cruise, we locked on his ship yeah, and scanned it off, to make sure that our little trip was fruitful and not wasting much of our time. The name it resolved, along with a sign that said wanted, which meant we were clear to fight this here Literally. deathlock who's not welcome here. I tried interdiction, a slippery foe, escaped it with ease, but with one more go, I caught him and dropped him and began my scan. Okay. Keep up, we've got him! But then he began to trash talk me, cursing and swearing and telling me over I would use my poor noggin for a cup in his rover. His orker, for that was the ship that he flew, was black and his bounty was worth quite a few. My wingmen arrived and he laughed in our faces. Here, in our very own system of all places, that whale opened gun ports and started to fire. As Deathlock's voice pitched higher and higher, I'll kill you, I'll ruin you, I'll take all your stuff. You dare resist me, you think you're so tough? That's when it happened. Skip rap. Now look here, I said. Listen, young pop. That's enough now. We're seven and you're on your own. 
Why don't I bother. Sideways? Ventura's canopy's blown. But cut it right out, and you can high wake. Okay. You're making an awfully nasty mistake. I, 2%. That whale, it kept coming and blasting our ships. Not a scratch on his armor, even with pips, to weapons from all of our trackers. Take that, you old... Mind wipe ship blew after hitting my rear. He's boosted right into me, while well, flying too near. This combat was turning quickly to farce. That impact had left me with quite a sore hull. The Texans had been crushed under the whale's giant bulk. And the dog just left us, jumped out for a sulk. That left Hober and I in a bad situation. Let's go and get some help and repair at the station. I fired two torpedoes in a bid to survive and get the heck out whilst we were alive. The orca went silent. A heat sink he burned, and I watched in horror as my missiles turned. He took out poor Hober. He was running quite hot. The look on his face as his ship fell to bits, and Deathlock screamed louder. Take that, you shit! His final words were, Die, you fat chump! His cursing was distant as my ship made the jump. So, have a care, fellow truckers, round Alpha Centauri, and don't think I exaggerate one bit of this story. For Deathlock and the might of his whale might make you the subject of your very own tale. <laughs> A creepy warning if ever there was one. Oh, I thought that was quite a beautiful story. That's what Absolutely marvellous. Look at that. 32. <laughs> a tale to tell the kids. Oh, well, we're good. KPH. It uh, is one for the children, that is definitely. And Deathlock is, is definitely a deadly pilot it, that I'm you should avoid if you can at all costs. <laughs> if you're listening on the Hot Norbert Radio, we're just going to go for a quick advert break and we'll join you after these short messages. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll join you immediately after I click the button. Who knows? We can never tell. We don't know how it works. Yeah. Roll the dice. Uh, how is everyone getting on? Anyone uh, struggling That's or true. having problems? Uh, well, um, hang on a second. Uh, yeah, I'm currently my following the angry vegan. Uh, I can see ahead of me. Six kilometers ahead of me with 484 left to go. So they're on the high 470s with the Angry Vegan. We have, over the side here, Hover Mallow following some other group. Uh, he's right with me, so he oh, is uh, at the 480. Second, let's have a look. He's at the 482 mark so, of whoever wow. he's following. And then up ahead of me, so I have five, Cold Czar, Weathermax, KPL, and the say, Paladins the Consortium, I think is Cold Czar. Well, so you did a reasonable and one. they are 12 kilometers ahead of me. So cool. they're running at the low 470s at the moment. Yeah, yeah, true. So it's very, it's very tight stuff. on the racing. It has not spread out as much as we expected on these streams. Crashing into and a corner. Really, really interesting when we get to the other side. And then landing on the corner and spinning myself over. Is it possible to get a, a call out from each commander in the room currently as to their status? Because we seem to be concentrating on the teams and not the hard working people in this stream that currently held for leather, ignoring what we're saying because they're trying to circumnavigate the rockiest terrain known to man. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, let's have a show to report from the room. So I'll, I'll, I'll go first right. to Commander Bewilderbeast. What's your distance from Gooch? Nice. Levoski. What's your distance from Gooch? Levoski. Uh, he's just been asking nice. me about team speak. Michael Sale. What's your distance from Gooch? <laughs> we are at 502. Nice. Banyan no Steel. What's your distance from Gooch? <laughs> nice. Like Weather Wax. What's your distance from Gooch? <laughs> nice. Well, well, I'm with Weatherwax at the moment. No, I'm going to step in for Weatherwax, so it, it's it's even nicer. Um, distance is currently 476. Five, he is spotter for Cold Czar, and Cold Czar's just rolled it. Every Cold time is. I talk, somebody's <laughs> rolled it. Oh, Cold Czar. <laughs> Commander Levovsky, 502 kilometers. Thank you very much. 
somebody's listening to the Twitch stream and not the team speak. I expect uh, ten Colby, second yeah, delays. I'm, <laughs> I'm at uh, four six five. Who's that? Hang on a sec. That's Colza. That was Coin. Yeah. Number one. And a rock. Well, Colza, 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 I've got you at four seven five by my judging, but you you may be slightly ahead of me. I'm following. I think I'm following you. Who's spotting for you? Uh, it's Weathermax. Or Weatherwax, sorry. <laughs> right, yeah, we Weatherwax. Well, I'm in the ship. Maybe the ship and the SRVs have got different distances. Maybe mine's taken it as the crow flies, or yours is. So, yeah, yeah you're 475 by my count. Yeah, I think he's a bit uh, a bit further up in the uh, eagle eye behind me. Hot Rims coming in with a hot 461. That's Hot Rims 1A, not 1B. Um, Van Caster, what's your distance from Gooch? Uh, 537. Good stuff. Um, Iron Man Goose, if he's still Two. awake. I'm still here, and uh, um, beer free. Your channel. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Jintosh, what's your distance from Gooch? I'm currently at 493. Oh, Goose is catching up. Reichter, what's your distance from Gooch? 491. Ooh, it's, it's all getting very close. Um, Commander okay, Sneevis. Who's, who's our lead solo racer then so far? Well, I think that's me, 491. Sneevis is 501. Uh, I'm at 491. 501. Okay, so it looks like our lead yep. solo racer might be right there. Goose, could yeah. we have an update on your distance rather than the amount of beers you've drunk? Yeah, uh, 511. <laughs> Wonderful, <laughs> thank <Rocks>. you. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting that I'm the spotter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If you watch it, both those numbers will slowly increase as the day goes on. <laughs> it's going to get away to get more quicker drunk. than the oh, other shit. at the moment. <laughs> well, <laughs> the is good mental. thing about this is, judging by the planet rotation, by the time we get to the last quarter of the race, we will actually be, I think, I in darkness as well. Oh, I've just had an update on the Facebook. Um, it seems Vanyan still is currently in cubicle three, hence why he didn't reply. So we'll wait for him to uh, finish, and then we'll quiz him about the state of oh, Cubicle 3 fun. and then his distance. Okay, I'm in No problem, well, I'm going to end the Hutton Orbital radio broadcast for just now. We will be back um, probably near a sort of 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Um, we've not got anyone to take over, but we've got, we've got a second broadcaster in the evening anyway, so this evening's coverage as we get to the exciting tail end of this race uh, will be continual right to the very bitter end, so... Join us later as we go in there, and if you are wanting to continue to follow what's going on, then please do follow on to Dave uh, Vantian's Twitch stream, which you can get to by going to twitch.tv forward slash Ving T Ton 21. That's V I N G T E T U N. 21. The feed will continue there. You'll have a visual feed of the SRVs and the leaders uh, as they manage to keep up with them. And at the moment you can see that we have uh, some beautiful Fuck. headlight footage catching the contours of the planet. Yeah, so definitely worth if I, if having if a wee peek over there at so twitch.tv vantiton21 and that will take you to it. So we'll okay. catch you later on on the Hutton Orbital radio station. Until then, have channel. fun! Bye! Or die trying. Right, okay. okay. Well, I'm currently with um, these guys. I, I'm mastering the art of reversing while driving uh, or flying and using external cameras. And I've only lost 49% right. of my hull business so far. Um, we're not even yeah. into the end of yeah, our second hour. So I, I may have to go back in my ship for some repairs. But I Cost seem to have a, an hours. SRV ahead of me. And he's got speed. three spotters. So he's actually got his... Reserve crews flying above him, spotting for him, ready to drop down when he gets too injured. It seems like That's a team of overt pretension, is. including uh, our own Ed Luis, um, so Commander Scooby Lou, um, the Angry Vegan, and Tosh, and Kosh. Really well, yes. right, I'm going so to you're swing not, around you're not and breaking. head for so you just have the, same the group I've paired with, which is Cold Czar from the Pirate Consortium. And yeah, if you could line them up well, you could just so, skip your way across, Czar. but I'm starting to get turned around, and of course I can't change my... I've lost my primary vector, because I've got no downtime. I think downtime. lost the Cold Czar somewhere. Oh, I heard an explosion, local to me. Let me go and see if I can get a report from the uh, 
the OP team. If I can upgrade something on my channel. vehicle, it will be the lateral jets. <laughs> so I can turn faster. Fuck. No damage. Okay, yeah. Project actually change over is a good idea. I think I think we can make that distance. It depends what's at the top of the Silence there, I'm just uh, what did, what did you see from the top of that ridge? I can see a little beacon, up. but I cannot see where the actual cobs are, so okay. I've lost where the actual cobs well, are. We're in the flat the middle section of the race at the moment. The large craters have disappeared, so we're into some fairly open, flat out racing as we go. Um, quick update from the OP team, Commander Ede Luis has just blown up. I'm all right. um, his ships are landing whilst um, I would the race marshal watch over the fact they're doing everything properly, but yes, he has just gone boom. You just can't teach those lave radio guys. Commander Adlerweiss. You right? No, I'm reading now as he spells it. Ed Luis. <laughs> User left your channel. I don't know where, where anybody else is, but this is not flat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, not it flat where I am either. Compared to, compared to what you're driving See? into, it's as flat as it comes. Maybe it's I should have right? that. Flat from a distance, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is it flat? What distance? <laughs> well, well, after the second big crater, it's as flat as a pancake for the next 200 kilometers. Tell that to the mountain I'm just going up at the moment. <laughs> it doesn't tell me anything. I have no idea where I am. Just keep on going. Um, there is a mountain range that you can't go over. You have to go around it. So it's a mountain range you can't you go over. You might want to keep an eye on that. Challenge accepted. Mountain range you can't go around it, he says. Well, that'll be what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just the little thing, rooms. it's just the mountain range you need to go round. And space. Yeah, hot rooms 458, good main 465, over potential 471. I don't have an update for the. Oh, Redliners have hit 450. They are pulling out the lead on the hot rooms. Hot rooms are 8 kilometers behind. As long as you're closer than Gucci's progress, it's all good. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to need to take um, two seconds to go and top my gin up. Um, I need a reserve commentator to talk rubbish for me for the next couple of minutes while I'm doing this for the benefit of the live streamers. So, anybody feeling brave and bold and want to commentate while driving? That'll be you, Commander Splendor. Yeah. Go on. Really you oh, can talk to everybody. Talk, talk us, talk us yeah, through the... Uh, the rule, the FAQ box or something, while well, I'm I'm topping the gin up. Oh, for the benefit of those who went here at the start. I can see your ship, I can actually see your uh, ship. As soon as I control my ship again, I'm not about to plan to the surface one moment. <laughs> At head, my belly. There we go, that's better. Right. Well, yes, I, those rules, those are the useful things that I just closed down. <laughs> Yeah, because it's... yeah. No, but in theory, if if you encounter other people, they can scan. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, at the basic premise the being, we've got to get these mugs overland without flying any part of the route with them. Obviously, if you end up with the slight situation of um, accidentally landing on your mug, or dropping it down a crevasse, or watching it roll away into a crater and not being able to find it again, there is then a I just don't know what the shout for help and the marshals will be able to provide you with a replacement. Thankfully we've only had one instance of uh, mug resupply required so far. Far more common than the situation where your ship accidentally explodes, or purposefully possibly. At that point, you need somebody else to keep a, you know, to keep your spot, as it were, to, to mark the point that uh, your, your SRV went boom. Okay, so there's a point and at uh, that point, uh, yes, uh, as long as they're holding it, uh, you can then go back yeah, to your ship, get a new SRV, head back out there, pick up a fresh mug from somewhere, and carry on. A um, quick update from the Hot Rims team. They are, in fact, combining both groups now. They are putting the power of the rims together. 
So where's the front of their team oh, and is the great. back of their team still 30 kilometers behind? Uh, maybe they've uh... Uh, slightly more than 30 kilometers. The back end are picking up their SRVs and will head to the skies. You might want to remind them to make sure they take their odometer readings so they don't User get destroyed. Your channel. Roger that. User left your channel. And on that note, yeah, odometer readings. Yes, every time you make a swap, every time you. Uh, stop what you're doing, hand over to somebody else. You need to take a reading User from the right hand panel. Distance SRV distance travelled in your statistics in the right hand panel. This will allow us to make sure that you haven't, in fact, just driven the first five kilometres, hopped in a ship, flown to the end, waited around the back of the bike sheds for everybody else to have turned up and then driven to the finish line. No, it's going to make me harder to find Not it. that anyone would be thinking of that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I don't want to sounds like a quite a good idea right now. Okay, for the benefit of those who yeah. aren't watching the live stream, Commander Colzar is showboating yeah. here. Um, he has just done an aerial barrel roll right in front of the camera ship while racing. So he's definitely being one cunning stuntsman. <laughs> So well done, Commander Coldzar, for your stunt driving. So what we're going to do is, at the 3 o'clock marker, we're going to take I'm another update on the time. Direction. So anybody in here, we're looking for a, a sort of update on the time. So update on distances okay. at 3 o'clock. Um, nope. I'm going to take a <laughs> break good. right now. And, uh, oh no, we've got LOL Aerobatics from the Paladins Consortium team here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a small break from commentating and uh, park up my ship and uh, avail myself of the facilities and parked, I will be back commentating the stream still place. running but I'll be back commentating in a couple of minutes. <laughs> uh, talk amongst yourselves. It's harder to get to you than it was to get to fucking Gucci's Pro. <laughs> Are you on that fucking hill as well? lovely truckers who decided to do this instead of this. Are you on a little hill? Of, uh, spare? You little bastard. I'll give you guys an update on the current status of the... Um, you were as well, weren't you? Delivery. <laughs> I just flew over that. In a couple of minutes. Did you get a picture of me flying over? Is that what, is that what the plan? Awesome. Go, go, go. And if I'm anybody right feels like reading news articles need, of Galnet, bear in mind this is probably a 10 hour broadcast, so. Um, wow. Uh, Hang on a second, an update. We've got Timmy you know Brabston at 410 kilometres. Oh, it's right there. 127. Can anyone beat that? 127.1. What? Me? Just 127. I haven't got a point. Not even close. That's like 70 kilometres ahead of me. Yeah. Have you got, you've definitely got mugs, right? Yeah, mugs. Okay. You know, technically we are supposed to swap mugs. <laughs> are we? Yeah, that's the point. I'm supposed to give you my mug and you carry it like a relay race. Yeah, but how are we supposed to do that in the uh, You eject it and you use the cargo scoop. Oh, that, that wastes precious time. Right. Well, that puts him about 40 kilometers ahead of the elite races, so I've got to do a flyby to work out what.